Hello and welcome to Newsworthy Stories with Jacqueline Jimenez. If you're new to the show, what I do is teach people how to identify news stories in their business or organization, then help them get local, national, even international news coverage, as well as produce news stories specifically for social media. What I do is I tell people, tie what you do to what news is already covering. And today we're gonna to talk about a very important event that's coming up that ties directly into mental health, but more so how to make that mental health more accessible to you. And so joining me now to talk about the Unmask Masquerade is mental health expert, Dr. Tenney of the Healing Arts Institute of South Florida and the Queen of Reframe, <laughs> Carol Boston of Carol Boston Coaching. Thank you, ladies, for joining me. Good morning. Thank you, Thank you for having us. Yes. Yeah. So the Healing Arts Institute of South Florida offers no cost mental health services, primarily to youth 22 and younger and to their families. So Dr. Tenney, how does the Unmasked Masquerade uh, what part does it play in all of this? The Unmasked Masquerade Gala is one of our biggest fundraisers. So this is where we allow the community, our funders, our donors to come in and meet us as a team. So you'll get to meet the healing arts team, all of our therapists, have a great time. Um, we share some stories. We have a fun night of dancing and this is, we want to make it our biggest night of raising funds for unrestricted funds for those families who need additional support. Again, we're covered through the Broward County grant for Broward County residents who are age 22 and under. But as we know, we have lots of clients in Miami and, and all throughout Florida. So these funds go to providing services in different areas other than Broward County, and also for individuals who may be above the age of 22 who don't qualify for the Broward County funding. And Dr. Tenney, just can you give us an idea, I mean, of what you've seen, particularly through this pandemic even, uh, the need for mental health and free, no cost mental health? What does that even mean to people? That's the hugest um, gap that we've seen. So a lot of times we are telling people to come out and get mental health services, go out and get the help. And then when they finally build up the nerve of the courage to say, okay, I'm going to get that help. They were coming into the office and they thought they had insurance with mental health coverage, but now we have to tell them, no, there are no mental health benefits on your plan or they come into the office and they have a $3,000 deductible they have to meet before coverage is taken care of and they can't afford those deductibles. So this is where the Healing Arts Institute comes in to help those families to truly bridge the gap between that. Not only that, a lot of individuals who look like me, um, brown and black individuals are afraid to go into therapy. So we have culturally competent therapists who look like them, who can help them where even to open the door where they would come in. Another great thing about the, the mental health unmasking gala is, um, again, we see so many children who have increased anxiety, stress and depression during the pandemic, as you said, and, um, this is a way where i don't know if you're like me i know carol gets dressed and she goes out to a lot of events and again i want to go to those events too but i have carter at home so a lot of people when they and carter's your son as much as <laughs> as well known as he is people need to understand that carter in that picture is your son and carter has a whole big you know his own line of golf apparel but that's all another story but yeah. so yeah. In the past, he's always said, 
where are you going, mom? Right. I'm getting dressed. I'm putting on nice clothes. Me and me and his dad are getting dressed and we're going to some event and he can't go. And we didn't want that with our gala. So we said, okay, we surveyed our parents and parents are like, no, we don't want to go to a gala with our kids. And I'm saying, but do you know how important that is to dress up and dress them up and take them out? And then I said, okay, what can we do? And then we decided to just have their own little gala. So they are in their own ballroom, all with our therapist staff. They're playing, they're having fun. They're doing assessments. They don't even know what they're doing, play therapy. And by the time this gala is over, the parent gets a report card to say, hey, your kid scored here and empathy, listening, all of the therapeutic skills that not just children need, but adults need. And they're like, are we going to be going through one too? I mean, I mean, I want to know. <laughs> I just want to know, like, should I be on? <laughs> Maybe I should do that. I should sit a therapist, one of our staff at every table, and you guys can get a report card too. We like. need a report card. I'm just saying. I'm <laughs> just putting it out there. Now, the great thing also is that we have the queen of reframe that is going to be, you know, one of your speakers, and I am thrilled because Carol Boston is so unique in the way she expresses herself in that um, how she reframes life circumstances. Carol, can you talk to us a little bit about, you know, your involvement in this? Absolutely. Uh, back in 1990, I went through my very first bout of severe clinical depression and panic attacks, and I didn't even didn't even know what it was. And through the EAP, I was fortunate enough to be working for a Fortune 100 company. They sent me to a psychologist. He ran me through a battery of tests. And I voluntarily checked myself into a women's wellness clinic for about five and a half weeks. Still, to this day, one of the top five best things I ever did for myself. But I was on medication. And I'm from the Deep South. And that didn't go over very well when I finally told my family. So after about 18 months, I chose to get off of the medication because of all the stigma and all the pressure I was getting. Fast forward a couple of years later in the summer of 1995, I had another very se severe bout, so bad I couldn't get out the front door of my house. The doctor actually came to my house, couldn't get out the door. So that was where I first quickly began to reframe that I got to make choices for me. And I began to learn that nothing in this world has meaning, nothing except that which we give it. And we get to choose. We get to look at that reframe and we get to choose the meaning that we give that. So to this day, from the summer of 1995, I'm still on medication. I have absolute problem with it. Um, I've even had other doctors say, well, don't you think it's about time you got off? I'm like, how come? I'm doing great. Right? <laughs> it's working. <laughs> it's, it's, it's working. So that was just, and I didn't even know it then, to be candid with you, that I was going to become the queen of reframe. But that was a very powerful reframe in my life. And I'm excited to have the opportunity to come and talk and even give the audience some tools that they can walk away with to be able to reframe things in their own life and in their own mind. And when it comes to mental health, let's face it. I mean, Dr. Tenney said it. There's a lot of stigma. And that stigma comes from what? Not necessarily the choice that we made. It came from our parents, billboards, right? Um, television, other things. And we bought into that story. And so we get to choose to create a new story for ourselves and we come and support on August 27th of the Unmasked Gala and therefore we can make a bigger difference. And you know, that is such a good point because you know, we have to understand the role that Hollywood has played in all this. You know, uh, and it's not, you know, nothing against Hollywood more or less as it is just the simple fact that, you know, those, ideas of what mental health look like. And so it is very important for us to understand that this unmasked uh, masquerade is to really also give people an understanding. Dr. Tenney and I, we always talk about the fact that, okay, if you don't want to call it mental health services, call it coping strategies, because that in itself is what it is. It is reframing your circumstances. And so the importance of this event more so is also, hey, uh, if you need to call it, uh, please identify my triggers. Help me. Uh, please, you know, whatever you have to call it, call it. But at least 
start the conversation and what better way to do it than at an unmasked gala, you know, an unmasked uh, masquerade where you can have fun. There's no pressure. You're just listening and you're doing it for a good cause. So you can say, I'm just here for the good cause, but really listen, you know, whatever you have to do <laughs> to get you in the door, just do it. Now, listen, I need you to understand a little bit more about what the Healing Arts Institute of South Florida actually does. So I want to share this story with you um, about the Healing Arts Institute and what they provide. As the pressures of this life are reaching a boiling point, the reality of dealing with our mental health wellness is becoming more and more evident in every aspect of our lives. Now, Dr. Thelma Tenney, a licensed marriage and family therapist and founder of the nonprofit Healing Arts Institute, is making sure people who need help coping get it, whether they are insured or not. If you don't have healthy boundaries, that's when your mental health is going to deteriorate because you're trying to be any and all to everything and everybody. Dr. Tenney knows this firsthand. She began the nonprofit after her son Carter was diagnosed with Asperger's and felt a need for mental health services herself. The anxiety, the stress, the depression, the guilt of feeling like, what did I do wrong? What could I have done different? not really having a support system designed for me. What would you like to tell the kids who maybe have a diagnosis like you have, maybe autism or ADHD or something? What do you want to tell them? That it's, it's okay to feel different and when you're upset, um, really upset, um, just talk to someone you trust. It's a big difference to walk into an office and someone can identify with you that looks like you, that talks like you, that has the same background, the same aspirations, the same upbringing. So it, it really makes a difference and not having that was my motivation to provide that for other moms. What the mission for Healing Arts is is to end stigma around mental health and marginalized communities. And when you, you grow up around it, people don't realize that, they've, that they're growing up in trauma because you're around it. But it, it forms who you are in some way. It makes you have an edge to you or it makes you afraid of something. And Healing Arts is trying to say, no, it's okay to ask for help. Sometimes it's like um, maternity. You don't know that you have to elect for maternity care until you're pregnant and you, you can't use it. So that's where the underinsured come in. They have health insurance, but it doesn't have mental health component to it. And then there's just those who don't have insurance at all. Dr. Tenney's team is armed with extensive credentials, interactive techniques, and original handbooks. As a licensed sexologist, she also specializes in generational trauma and couples therapy. She has also authored a comprehensive workbook with her former professor and now colleague. My experience and my other colleagues' experiences around things that are happening or relationship problems during the pandemic, people are realizing that they, they have things that they just cannot work out without a professional. And so I would say she probably get everything from stuff that's happening in the bedroom to stuff that's happening in the boardroom. This is our book and um, it is basically a plan for people who are already married and they didn't ask some questions they should have asked beforehand or people who are planning to get married. And it, it's like a business plan, just like a mission statement, the whole bit, goals, everything that goes with that. Budgeting, everything that that would be a part of a relationship once a person got married. Dr. Tenney believes in the benefits of mental health services so much that she and her staff take their own advice, holding group therapy for the therapist. So one of the things that I loved is that we actually um, create, drew a picture um, and then we actually kind of analyzed each other. Um, and it really was like a healing of just being able to share. So we already know 10% 
but 50% of really why we feel better is because we actually feel heard by whenever we're talking. And so could you imagine when a, a group of clinicians are helping each other? It just felt like there was no judgment. It's different when you are with people who know what they're doing rather than having someone who got a five minute introduction of this is what, this is how the meeting's supposed to go and this is what you're supposed to talk about. You need people who are trained, number one. You can't just have someone from HR do it. Healing Arts Institute is not only looking to serve clients in-house or online, but on location. What Healing Arts has to offer, um, you know, well above and beyond uh, so many others, is our willingness and our ability to go into schools and work with the uh, work with the officials, work with the kids. Um, you know, in a natural and symbiotic relationship. We want to be able to bring what we have to offer out of the office and, uh, you know, into, into the environments where, where these kids are and these people are who actually need that help. And if you're questioning the benefits of mental health services, Carter's confidence has led him to create his own line of golf apparel and often plays in golf tournaments. You can learn more about the Healing Arts Institute at healingartssfl.org. Okay, so now that you understand a little bit more about what the Healing Arts Institute of South Florida is about, um, Dr. Tenney, just tell us how can people get involved? How can they sponsor, even if they can't go to the Unmasked Masquerade? To attend the Unmasked Masquerade Gala, visit our website. It's healingartssfl.org. And on that home page, there's a link to go straight to purchase tickets to attend the gala and also to become a sponsor. So we're still looking for sponsors for the gala. We are also in need of additional items for our silent auction. And we are looking to have I think that we're you we're unique because if you're like me, you have a lot of things, right? People have things. So I don't want to have like trinkets that we're giving out or asking people to auction off, but more experiences. So right, some what are those self-care things um, as we mentioned earlier? So we're looking for services for our community partners to donate services and resources that individuals may need. Our chiropractors, our therapists, right? Carol with her coaching. Um, <laughs> Spas and massages, sorry. I always throw those in because that's a part of my mental health needs. You know, I have to, <laughs> those are very important. <laughs> yeah, so those are the type of donations that we're looking for. Um, something to add value, not just something to, to put on someone's shelf to 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 be there. And um, I'm just so excited that Carol is, is going to be there to assist her. Again, we have to realize that a lot of us feel like we're okay, and it's okay to be okay. And it's also okay to get a little checkup and to be proactive and to support those who are not okay. Um, again, we may look at individuals and say, oh, that person hasn't struggled or doesn't struggle. We all struggle. We all have our thing that we're going through. And um, again, I, I talk about Carol all the time, probably weekly. And I tell her she has her PhD, she just doesn't have it. Um, one of the biggest interventions I use with my clients is reframing, right? So I have doctors that come to me, surgeons, and we don't do therapy, right? We have strategic meetings, right? So they come and they say, I, I need to, I don't need therapy. I need to come and get some strategies and process some stuff and, and that's it, but I don't need therapy. And I'm like, okay, yeah, we can do that. So rather it's a strategic session, rather it's just coming to talk out some things. Again, as you said, find what your triggers are. This is a great place. You'll meet great therapists. They'll share their stories with you. You have affluent individuals like Carol who are sharing their stories. 
And that's how we take the stigma away um, from receiving mental health services. If you guys follow me on social media, I hope if you don't, you will now. Dr. Tenney, if, if, uh, what is it? Yeah, just Dr. Thelma Tenney. I posted something that really hit home for me. I saw this funny little meme and it made me laugh and cry. And I, and I posted it this morning. So how do you be vulnerable and share your experience with individuals? And that's truly how you heal past your past and begin to start working on your future. That's excellent, Dr. Tenney. I, I tell you, I'm so excited about the Unmasked Masquerade. I, I'm going to be there. I'm excited <laughs> that um, to hear Dr. Tenney and to hear Carol. Uh, and I'm just looking forward to this time uh, because I know that I'm going to walk away better than when I you know, walked in that door. And so I'm encouraging you, I'm challenging you to be there. Uh, come out of your comfort zone, come see what you, you've been wanting to ask, but you haven't actually gone. Or you've been, you know, curious or even skeptic. You know, we want the skeptics, we want everybody, come on down, <laughs> you know, to the Unmasked Masquerade. And ladies, I just want to thank you for this time and sharing um, this event that's coming up. Uh, so we can get more people to understand what's available. And even if they don't use the services, they certainly know somebody who does need them. So thank you so much, ladies.